Good evening. It's the deterrent we've been waiting for, the police verdict on a legal order which has come into force banning street racing and car cruising across the whole of Birmingham. It follows a similar ban in the black country. Signs are being put up at previous trouble spots, warning drivers they now face jail if they take part in antisocial behaviour at the wheel. Our reporter Ben Godfrey is by the A47 near Castle Bromwich for us now. So what sort of things are we talking about, Ben? We're talking about breakneck speeds, pedestrian crossings being used as starting grids, children in the back of their parents speeding cars. The police have seen it all. Herring down the highway, watch as this speeding driver tries to evade the police on the A47 in Castle Bromwich. The driver was caught, fined and disqualified. We're with Sergeant Adam Jobson. If he catches a driver doing the same thing anywhere in Birmingham, they could end up in jail for two years, thanks to an injunction issued by the High Court. Normally before we'd summons people for minor road traffic offences, um, normally you know, most serious fleeing careless driving or dangerous driving, but now we're able to hold people in contempt of court um, and they are receiving suspended prison sentences. In February last year, a similar ban was introduced in the black country as racers cause mayhem. We've heard that car cruising, the illegal gathering of cars, is continuing in places, but around a dozen people have been successfully prosecuted. Solly Hull has also introduced a three-year ban, leaving Coventry as the only city in the West Midlands police force area not to participate. Well, we're working very closely with the, with the councils across the region, and if the current city council want to um, follow the, the line by Birmingham and the black country, we're all ears. We want to ensure we have one approach to road safety across the region. At this garage in Small Heath, they're always talking about the talk. It's one place where young drivers can go to test their cars at over 100 miles an hour without going anywhere. We've done smaller events for about 3,000 people turn up to our events. Again, no problems, no issues at all. A lot of people uh, get put off with injunctions and they're more likely to go to different, different areas and do exactly the same thing. There might be some people who say, you know, come on, you haven't got time to dedicate to tackling this. You've got more important crimes to solve. We have dedicated regional operations purely just to focus on this activity. So the warning signs are up and West Midlands Police is hoping the days of road racing are numbered. Well, we've had a statement tonight from Coventry City Council about not taking part in the injunction, and they've told us they don't currently have a problem with car cruising, but they'll work with police to monitor the situation. Now, let's be clear, it is a very problematic area because for businesses who have to close early out of fear, for homeowners, for people driving on the roads, it can be very dangerous, clearly. You only had to look a couple of weeks ago over Halloween, a so-called ride-out. You had hundreds of bikers on the streets of Birmingham and Solihull Police made arrests, seized motorbikes, and the majority of people got away. Interesting to see how police will monitor social media now more clearly with this injunction, looking for tip-offs. If you name a location, date, time of a so-called illegal event, you could be placing an advert effectively, and you could end up with contempt of court. Ben, thank you. The parents of murdered teenager...